I will be honest with you, we decided to really take the trouble with this video. I promise you will not fall asleep and watch it to the end. Oh, yeah. Image can. Sorry, boss. I updated the firmware yesterday. Little bug. Yes, it's good. We have an issue with anamorphic lenses. Hey, hey, my name is Nazar, and welcome to our show channel. And today we have a special episode called named Size Does Not Matter. If you think your lenses is too small and looks unprofessional, or perhaps you have often yourself the following questions, how I will shoot with this, what will the customer think, well, it's not respectable, I need a big powerful lenses. Seriously, Monomorph is the smallest anamorphic lenses in the world and is manufactured by Laowa. By the way, the compression ratio is 1.5. Sure enough, this is not Orion or Cook with compression ratio 1.8 or 2, but still, it's a very, very decent option. The lens is specially designed for Super 35 and Micro for Science sensors, and if you want to use its full frame sensor, for example, like Canon S6, a slight fall in the head may appear, but turn on the car button and you will be back in the game. <laughs> The line consists of three lenses, 27mm with 2.8 aperture, 35mm with 2.4 aperture and 50mm also with 2.4 aperture. There are three flare options, blue, amber and silver. But which color will be perfect for you? Choose the blue if you like to shoot action scenes, cars and like pool lighting. Amber if you like shooting outside and would like a contact image. I choose a silver version because it's critical for me that the flare doesn't take all the attention and the image is more organic. In this video I explain why I felt in love with these lenses and how they will change the anamorphic game once and for all. In general, anamorphic lenses weigh a lot due to their lens structure, but these lenses are very light, which makes your as mobile as possible on the set. Sorry bro, but you are too big. Okay, if you talk about the weight, 27 mm weighs 313, 35 mm weighs 352 and 15 mm weighs 394. The smaller the lenses, the less problems there will be on the set. I think I won't take my photo back. A plastic bag is enough. The second criteria is the interchangeable bayonet. I use different cameras for my projects such as Canon C17, Dogmagic 4K, Canon R6 and Zenus X5S. And each camera has its own bayonet. Nanomorphs have interchangeable bayonet options, so we can put them on almost any camera. Maybe almost. It can be a camera with Micro Four Thirds mount, Sony M mount, Fuji X, L mount or RF bayonet. Hello. Create your own camera list you want to work and experiment with. The perfect camera does not exist. And the ability to put your lenses on different cameras is always a good advantage for filmmakers. The third criteria is grip and grip shots. A grip shot is a shot where you fix your camera in static position while adding or avoiding movement. If your setup is light, it can be built with just sticks and shit. Here, for example. If you take some trouble, it can look like this. Well, if you have a lot of time and you want to do something impressive and cool, then bam! If we're talking about anamorphic lenses, 
In most cases, the minimum focal length is above 2 feet 7 in or even more. This creates inconvenience because you have to put your actors of 3 foot away. This is not convenient, but you can always use macro lenses or diopters. It will give you additional focal length possibilities. If you had suggested it to me a year ago, let's put anamorphic lenses on the drone, I would probably think this is a crazy idea, rather risky and problematic, but with these tiny lenses is quite real. If you're plotting above the Inspire 2 and the Anomos X5S cameras, balancing the lenses is a whole masterclass. We have not developed a balancing structure yet, so we had to use this the sheets and sticks methods. <laughs> You also will need post-production editing because the image is a little shaky. But let's look at these delicious shots. If you're talking about FPV drones, the situation is much better. It's really easy to put these lenses on the Sikaira drone. The question is how to stabilize it. But if you use the Giro Flow program, the image will be perfect. In conclusion, I want to tell you, take these lenses, camera, take your light, small, expensive, big, it doesn't matter, and create. Better use your time to think about angles, editing, the idea you have. And I will end this video with footage how our team uses these lenses on the drones. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Till next time.